In this video, we're going to use a sonometer to see how the fundamental frequency of a string varies with tension. So our apparatus for the experiment will be the sonometer, which consists of a string, a fixed bridge, and a movable bridge. We have a Newton balance to measure the tension on our string, and a tension control key to vary the tension. We'll also use a bar magnet and an AC signal generator. And importantly, we have to use safety glasses in case the string breaks when we're adjusting the tension. To investigate how the fundamental frequency varies with tension, we will use this formula. As you can see, frequency is proportional to the square root of tension. If we plot f versus root t and apply a line at best fit, we should get a straight line that passes through the origin, with the slope equal to 1 over 2l times 1 over root mu. Firstly, we need to set the length of our string. This will be fixed for our experiment. So I'm going to set our string length to be 50 centimeters. We can then position our bar magnet halfway between the bridges where the anti-node of our standing wave will be located. Next we'll adjust the tension with our tension key. So I'm going to start this experiment with a tension of 30 newtons on our string. Next we'll attach our signal generator. Make sure you put the clips on the wire after the bridge. Now we can set up our signal generator. Here I've set the frequency as low as possible at 0.1 Hertz, and we're going to apply a five volt peak to peak AC signal. Make sure that the voltage that you use isn't too large so that you don't heat up or damage the wire. Before we start our measurements, we can include a paper rider on our string. This will allow us to see when the vibration is maximum. Now we can slowly turn up the frequency on our signal generator and observe when the amplitude of the vibrating string is at a maximum. Once we've taken our measurement for the frequency of maximum vibration, I would then turn off the signal generator, decrease the frequency, and repeat. So we'll get an average of about five measurements for the fundamental frequency for each tension setting. Here I've just included a piece of paper instead of the paper rider. And hopefully you can see even by eye when the amplitude of the vibration reaches a maximum. Once we've taken our five measurements, it's time to adjust the tension. Before we do this, I would advise that you remove the clips from the string, especially this one, as it may hit the bridge. I'll then use the tension control key, and I'm going to decrease the tension to a value of 25 newtons. Now that we've adjusted the tension, we just have to reconnect our signal generator. Again, make sure the clips are outside of the bridge. and we're ready to repeat our procedure. We can put our paper rider onto our string and start with a low frequency, turn on our signal generator and gradually begin to increase the frequency until we find the fundamental frequency. So here's our experimental data. For every tension setting, we have five measurements of the fundamental frequency. I've also calculated an average of the values. This table shows our average frequency measurements and their corresponding tension setting. We want to plot f versus root t, so I've also calculated the corresponding root t values. Plotting our data points, you can see that we have a straight line. And when we apply a line of best fit, we get a straight line graph that passes through the origin. So our straight line graph has shown that frequency is directly proportional to the square root of tension. For more videos of experiments and for information about our course, please check out the Physics and Instrumentation playlist on the ATU YouTube channel. And please give our video a like if you'd like to see more of them. Thank you.